The campaign is broadband for public safety. And today we're going to view a video provided by Alcatel Lucent and the Alexandria Police Department. It shows the power of wireless broadband. So look at some of the technologies, look at some of the applications, and then engage with us in advancing the campaign. NCIC clear, decent clear, 2007. Let me switch to the live camera feed so you see what's going on at the incident. So what we're doing here today is demonstrating the availability of Band 14 for public safety. This is currently the conditions that we are dealing with. It's going to be voice over IP. It's going to be video over IP. It's going to be data over IP. Because this becomes a true internet protocol IP-based network. I'm going to switch back to the map. Fire command is right here. So what we're doing is showing that this is real, that it works, and that it meets the needs of public safety both now and into the future. <laughs> we're not here by accident. We're here because Alexandria PD has been a leader in the national capital region in the use of mobile data and forward thinking on technology. We have leaped forward now through three generations of mobile data, and now here we are, 2010, and LTE and fourth generation broadband technology is knocking on our door. In its first live application, Alcatel Lucent is demonstrating the game changing nature of LTE technology using the public safety broadband spectrum. A mobile Alcatel Lucent base station provides the high speed network. Alexandria Fire and Police Departments provide the personnel and emergency vehicles. Rather than us go through a can demo, I left it in their hands yesterday to say, give us something realistic. Okay, you on the scene? Yeah, I just pulled up. The system is designed to do nothing less than change the face of land mobile radio as we know it. Okay, let me show you what we've got. And it won't be just voice anymore. It'll be push or click to talk. How many units do you have in route? To see to understand okay. all in one integrated system. The capabilities of the system are going to allow police, fire, emergency medical to, to collaborate in ways they haven't done before. There is two-way high-definition video conferencing. This is the incident location. Okay. Right here is our area of operations. Shared maps for precision command and control. Let me go ahead and give you the live video feeds. Multiple simultaneous video streams from any camera in the city or beyond we're going to be seeing very robust situational awareness back to command post and back to decision makers. And with speeds of up to 60 megabits per second, the potential is nearly unlimited. It's not like if you've been on Skype or on the other chat stuff, this is going to amaze you in terms of what we can get in terms of the, the downlink capability. What this speed enables, it's going to change what public safety does. We still haven't tapped the full potential of what we can do in this study. If you have, a, say, a missing child, you've got you know, 20, 30 officers have to get a helicopter up. You can look at a map and say, here's where the last place the person, the child was seen. It changes the dynamic. It changes the type of information you share. A picture's worth a thousand words, well, video's worth 10,000 words. Just to be able to see whatever you need to see before you get there, just from a, from a street pers patrol perspective. It allows us to increase the speed and precision of the decision-making process so that I can come and decide to decide and then take action on that immediately. If the fire heads north, are you gonna lose that east-west exit? You want to move the far east roadblock to the other side of the intersection? All right, I agree with that. Very good. Our agency's culture and tradition has always been always look at the next frontier, always investigate as to what's better out there. Our officers respect and are inspired by this technology, and they work it and they use it, and they're better for it, and the service to those citizens is quicker, faster, with a better outcome. So this demonstration in the public safety broadband showed that the equipment is available, the technology is available, that it's real. We're actively out deploying this right now, getting ready to put this into the hands of public safety so that they can start putting it to good use. If we can provide the best solution for fighting crime and, and, and increasing the quality of life for our community, it's a great investment.